welcome to Lunar Moxie Tarot and Astrology. I am here um, to do your new moon, okay, reading for all signs. I'm going to do a spread for every sign and discuss the houses that this new moon impacts, which is at approximately five degrees and change in Leo, okay, um, a very, very fortunate spot, okay, for, for right now, as well as into um, the um, major aspects that will be occurring over the next month or so, okay? I am running a special on Venus's transit through Cancer, which touches on, um, in kind of in depth, um, the conjunction between Uranus and Mars and the North Node, which occur in the middle of Venus's transit through Cancer, which is going to have a very large impact on a lot of the uh, zodiac signs. It just will. Um, and if it doesn't particularly impact you, it, it will more than likely um, definitively impact somebody in your immediate surroundings or close networks. So um, please plug into that series. That said, I'm going to pull a quick five card spread for each one of you guys. Um, I'm going to um, do a general uh, intro here discussion. All right, I'm looking at the event chart here. Um, and the uh, lunar mansion for um, 25 degrees to 8 degrees of Leo, okay, and change is the fountain, all right? Um, the fountain is supposed to be very uh, prosperous for love as well as for um, business, all right, and for structures. And we kind of need that for structures considering the upcoming um, transitions there's going to be in the sky, all right, which can cause multiple towers. However, I feel like something tied to this new moon has to do with really resetting our um, goals as to the things that we want in our lives, okay, and recommitting to those things in one way or another, depending on your charts and how it plays out, okay. The goddess associated with Leo here is Isis, okay, one of my favorites, all right. She's got symbols for the high priestess, all right, the moon um, and on her crown, okay. The story of uh, Isis, all right, is, um, you know, she, she and um, Osiris, all right, um, are the um, begot Horus, all right, um, who was supposedly the father of all pharaohs, okay, um, and the original lineage of the pharaohs, okay. Um, it's a very special story bringing up um, issues of sibling rivalry as well as um, love and the... Um, the power of love as well as the power of um, the high priestess, all right, and and things that um, can be miracle-like when done with good intent, okay? So um, what happened with Osiris? Osiris, for those of you that don't recall, Osiris was um, killed by his brother, I think Set or Seth was his name, um, because he wanted to be Pharaoh. Um, and so he killed his brother, separated his body into seven parts, and Isis, who was, you know, her, you know, in love with him or his his wife, fell into a deep deep depression and and you know, um, kind of like a very underworldly like Pluto Plutonian theme, but was a very very powerful goddess in and of her own right, um, and went and collected all of his body parts, right, made the golden phallus and somehow magically produced Horus, all right, after he was dead, okay? So it's almost like this Frankenstein offspring kind of vibe, okay? But the vibe given with it is that there was a wrong and that she was on the right side of the spiritual law with what happened, which is why her her creation was, was you know, begot, all right? Um, ending up in, in with Horus, all right? So she's kind of... Um, you know, a protector of the underworld, all right, and obviously um, has a lot of um, a lot of attachments to um, a divine mother, all right, a divine Venusian feminine figure, which is prominent right now with Venus's transit through Cancer as is. Okay, um, this particular um, lunar mansion, all right, is attached to um, Neptune, which is highly creative and highly spiritual in and of itself, the higher octave of Venus, all right. Um, as well as the sun, all right, and the sun rules Leo, all right, and Neptune is, happens to be in, like, sextile with Pluto, so I do feel, and Pluto is, um, surprisingly in opposition to Ceres, which is also, um, Demeter, all right, the Divine Mother, who was separated from her daughter when Pluto took her daughter to the underworld, okay, um, 
and eventually got her like six months of the year, okay? Ceres has just recently moved into Leo and is in direct opposition to Pluto, all right, at the time of this new moon. So I do feel like there are issues of separation from the mother and um, divine feminine figure issues here, all right, that are popping up, okay? For those of you that have lost a parent, um, they may be particularly on your mind right now, okay, and in your prayers, and you may feel them especially close to you at this time, okay? These things have also popped up in Venus's transit, okay? Um, there is a lot of power behind this new moon, um, also a lot of creativity. The fountain is like an overwhelming flow of creativity. That's what this lunar mansion is attached to, all right? And it's about um, tapping into your creative gifts, all right, and being recognized for your creative gifts, by yourself and by others okay so um, I, I expect that theme to play out in various ways um, right now all right there is a trine between um, there's a loose trine between uh, Jupiter and Mercury all right and the moon will closely there follow because it's so close so um, I do you know think that creative intelligence is at a height right now all right, um, in, in one form or another, and in one form or another, this may have to do with some creativity do, you know, that is interrelated to these themes of Isis and Ceres and Pluto and these stories, okay? There might be something otherworldly or underworldly about um, the magic involved with this new moon, okay? Um, for the positive, not for the negative, okay? Don't come to that, don't come to me for that stuff, okay? Um, all right, and um, there's an issue of timing here, all right, with um, Saturn being placed um, kind of in between, um, in between Pluto and, and uh, Neptune here, all right, Saturn being, you know, a symbol of the father as well as a symbol of timing and the karmic wheel, okay, and the laws of karma here. Okay, so, and again, like I said with Isis, the reason she was able to do what she did is because there was a karmic wrong here, all right? So these 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 particular energies and powers can only be used for the positive, okay, um, in any stead, all right? Um, that said, they are powerful, so you may feel a lot of inspiration right now around creative projects, okay, especially for the houses in which um, Leo occupies in your own chart, okay? Um, I'm going to start with Aries and go around the wheel and pull a quick spread for you guys, all right? That said, I have like three more, um, three more signs to do to complete my um, special series on a saga for Venus's transit through Cancer, which is on a, the summer playlist as well as a separate playlist for Venus's transit through Cancer. So um, I'm going to do that um, right now. If you had a child that was born today, and you, you know, some of you may, you know, um, childbirth and, and things related to children here are highlighted with Venus, all right? V I mean, with Venus anyway, but with um, Leo, all right, because Leo um, represents the fifth house, is a natural placeholder of the fifth house of joy, creativity, happiness, um, and children, all right? So um, there may be issues, you know, regarding babies and children right now, or children of your own, okay? The regality and the generosity of Leo and its natural placement, all right, and all that that bestows, okay, of the lion and their pride, okay? Um, is, is really, really um, up for a fresh start here. So, um, that said, I'll go through other notes as I hit them. Um, I also see like a hot spot for if you had a child that was born around the time of the new moon on the eastern seaboard today, okay, that child would be a Scorpio rising, all right? Um, all right, um, you know, which is where the south node is, okay? Um, if you were to put the... Arabic parts in, all right, that uh, the house, uh, you know, the part of fortune and the part of spirit and the part of arrows is all in Scorpio right now, okay, so, um, you know, and, and opposing the uh, Uranus and um, Mars and the North Node already, okay, um, which are set for, you know, major conjunction at the first, okay, which I cover in depth in my special on Venus's transit through Cancer. Um, that said, um, I do see, you know, um, some positive movement towards this change for this um, large conjunction and square in the sky, okay? 
Um, there's also some hot points, you know, a vertex and anti-vertex right around where Venus is right now. So again, some of you may have um, some important people enter or leave your lives, or if you have a mother figure or are a mother or have a child, okay, um, or parental figure falling around these lines, it may be especially important to you in one way or another, okay, for new beginnings. Furthermore, if you have a creative project, all right, um, that is starting right now or beginning or in a process of, um, I just see, I just see this is very, very positive for any of you with creative projects, okay? Um, it'll also highlight romance for a lot of you, okay? It could, all right? Um, you know, or the thought of new romance, okay? Um, on a higher realm here, okay, of some sort or another. So, that said, Aries, let's start with you, okay? Um, you've got Jupiter in your sign, all right? And, and like I said, it is in loose... Um, it is in loose uh, trine to everything in Leo here, okay, um, with Mercury and the moon and the sun, and it's it's just a lot of power, okay, and also Chiron, the wounded healer, is in your sign um, in the middle, okay, about 16 degrees, okay, so I do see this as a very um, healing time, okay, and, you, you know, a lot of you may be sowing seeds of healing, all right, um, in regards to fifth house matters, okay, because you start off the zodiac, Leo take, is the ruler of your fifth house and the natural placement for Leo. So um, I do see healing around things and items of home right now, okay, for you, um, that, that or children or creative projects may be especially powerful for you, okay, at this new moon. It is a great time to start something new with that, okay. Um, All right, and you are popping here with the Knight of Cups, all right, the Sun, which absolutely has to do with Leo and children here, all right, um, and, okay, um, there may be some communication here. I'm getting, um, I'm getting the Knight of Cups with the Sun, all right, and the reason for the Knight of Cups is the Sun, so there may be somebody that you want to bring a love offer to here, or a very big creative project here that you want to set off or um, go towards at this time and really invest your all in Aries, all right, because it brings you all, the, the purpose and reason is because you do feel like you're in the sun, okay, with something. If it's a new interest, they bring you a lot of joy and happiness. If it's a child, again, a lot of joy and happiness here with the sun being the purpose behind this um, Knight of Cups, all right, which is a definite, definitive action card, okay. Um, I see that the result here, if you do go forward with this, is going to be um, a given, a really good, you know, um, give and take with the Six of Pentacles showing up here for you, okay? Um, the thing that you can do is to embody your own power around this time and the healing energies that are on offer because we have the Star card also linked to Major Arcana for Aquarius showing up here, all right? Um, and that will free you up. Um, you are being called to be freed up from any prior um, Eight of Swords-like bondage that has held you back in the areas of romance, creativity, and children at this time, okay? So, um, I'm not pulling any clarifiers on it today. That's what I got for you. You know, um, I think it looks beautiful. Let me know how it goes, Aries. Um, definitely check into the special, all right? And um, I will start pulling monthlies. I'm not doing weeklies this week because of the specials, which... Everybody's sign is run like over an hour just on these special. Okay, um, I hope you guys are doing great, and I'll see you later. I'm going to move on to Taurus now. Taurus, um, Leo, if you are a true Taurus ascendant, Leo takes up your um, fourth house of home, okay? There is a lot of pride around the home, a, lot, a sense of regality, a sense of respect, a sense of protection around the home, okay? You can have new beginnings in your home right now, okay? That may involve bringing in a new lunar or solar figure, masculine or feminine, into your home, okay? Could involve around, you know, a new child to the home or just the birth of a new creative project or business, especially if you work from home or your significant other or someone else does, okay? Very fortuitous for that for you, for new beginnings here, all right, um, in regards to that, okay? Um, what else do I want to say for you? There, there is, um, there is a, 
you know, Leo is a fixed sign, okay? So, you know, there are parts of you that are squaring, okay? And your, your sense of self, okay, if you're a true um, Taurus ascendant, okay? Or, um, you know, wherever Taurus is placed in your particular chart here, okay? Um, there may be some resistance to the changes that you want to bring in the home, okay? They may be emanating from you. They may not, however, changes upon you, all right, with Uranus and um, Mars in such close conjunction here, okay? Um, a lot of masculine energy and drive to make some revolutionary changes around the home, and it may present a challenge in one way or another because of the square. However, um, more than any other time to have Uranus, you know, nearly conjunct the North Node, okay, which is your future, you know, the future path for the entire Zodiac wheel right now in the middle of your sign is very, very fortuitous, okay? And you are showing up here with um, an ace of wands, all right? Representative of that fire energy and power and spirit behind this new moon, okay? And I see um, that the timing is now, okay? The reason for this ace of wands in this new beginning, whether it's you or somebody else starting new beginnings in the home, okay? And it may be that these are somewhat, I don't wanna say secret, but they may not fully be into being yet. Okay, for others of you, they are, they're like happening now. Okay, major changes upon you. All right, and we'll continue throughout this transit. So definitely make sure you check out um, that Venus special I'm doing. All right, um, the reason behind this Ace of Wands is because the Wheel of Fortune. All right, that is the timing is right. All right, all fixed signs there and represented. Okay, with this Wheel of Fortune. All right, um, so you know the timing. The timing on the wheel is right here for for the change. Okay, it's here whether you like it or not. And for a lot of you, I feel like you do like it and you do want it because of um, what you guys have going on in your own sign. Okay, even though it may feel a little bumpy and like major, major, major. Okay, um, um, you know I show like you may have a lot of excitement and the excitement may be so strong that um, you know you wind up with a little bit of anxiety or a problem sleeping around this time okay for those of you that have a new baby in the house okay of course you would have problems sleeping anyway but um, for those of you that are just making major changes around your home or structure all right that you really really want um, and that the timing's right on to do and that are here whether you like them or not there's still maybe anxiety associated with it okay that's natural okay um, for any big change but especially when you have Mars and Uranus okay which is like drive determination courage and like major action card and a lot of um, momentum here all right um, or torque all right behind this um, conjunct Uranus there's also a feeling of kind of almost electrical overload here okay that you could be experiencing all right that's attached to this nine of swords as well don't let it stop you from positive change all right um also i you know the thing that i see that you can do here all right to lighten your load at this time okay which you do need to do so that you can protect from your frayed nerves is to collaborate all right all right this is tap into your friendships and others that you can collaborate with okay and you may not be doing that now the way you should all right for for some support and assistance here all right why because you're trying to carry all these ten wands to the castle here, okay? Um, and you need to delegate what you can to get this major change um, that's taking root and possible for you now underway, okay? So that is all I have for you, all right? Let me know how it goes, Taurus, okay? I'll see you guys in the special I'm running and in the other postings that I do prior to next week. Bye, Taurus. I'm going to move to Gemini now. Gemini. This is in your third house, okay? So this rules um, siblings, right? And networks, immediate networks, neighbors, and communications, okay? You may have some new beginnings or new starts in communication. You may feel highly creative when it comes to your communications right now. Um, if you work in, in communications, you may just be buzzing, all right? With um, stories or whatever it is. If you're a writer or a reporter right now, um, you know, you, you know, to describe that you're on fire is an understatement, okay, with communication, all right, because you are the natural placement for communication anyway, and Mercury is in um, Leo right now, okay, your ruler, all right. Um, I would expect that you would also have a lot of communications buzzing around the home since Mercury also rules Virgo, okay, which takes up your fourth house of home. 
all right, um, is the natural ruler of the fourth house of home, all right. Um, uh, with Paolis Athena in the middle of your sign, again, I feel like there's a lot of creative intelligence on offer right now for you, all right, with new beginnings and seeds being sown in regards to these matters, okay. That said, let me pull a little spread on you. All right, and yeah, as Page of Cups is showing up here. All right, Page of Cups is linked to, you know, it can be linked to an apology or a love offer, and that may, you may have communications in regards to that, especially if it's with somebody that you very, very much admire, almost like in a crushy way, okay? That can pop off for you right now, or you may have communications from somebody like that. But moreover, I see it as part of this creative intelligence because. Um, the Page of Cups can also be um, very much tied to a tapping in of just um, kind of like the mercurial messenger of the gods type thing, all right, that um, Geminis and Virgos are so well known for, all right, and you may have things that you want to manifest here, all right, and the reason I am showing this Page of Cups though, the backing behind it, all right, is the Ten of Cups, all right, so there may be a family scenario here that is transitioning or coming back together or something new here. All right, that you are thinking about in regards to the family, especially with, even though it's in your third house, with Mercury being there and also ruling your fourth house, I feel like there could be tie backs, all right, with a lot of communications running within networks and in regards to home base here, okay, that have to do with happy family, happy life, all right, and a lot of good tidings around this time in regards to that, it, even if they revolve around new beginnings, okay. Um, the result of some of these communications may put you off a little bit, all right, because we are showing the nine of wands, all right, or somebody else, okay, and you may be a little bit fearful to let out this page of cups energy because you fear somebody's response or you fear rejection of some sort or something else. Don't let that stop you, um, is the message here, okay? Um, the, the message from the universe here on what you can do to help this along is to fully tap into the love and abundance at this time with the Ace of Cups showing here, okay, in regards to that. And if you do that, um, the result will be that you will be able to take action, all right, appropriate action and communication here, all right, because I have the Knight of Swords showing up here. So even if your communications regarding these new beginnings, which look beautiful, um, are going to result in someone else acting like a wounded warrior or you, okay, these changes are upon you right now okay, towards forward momentum in your life, okay, um, let me just take a look here at something, you know, um, and, and you may have a little bit of opposition or kickback that you're feeling with um, Saturn, okay, in opposition to, um, in opposition to your ruler, all right, Mercury, which is at about 18 degrees of Leo currently, all right, all right, and this, a lot of you, this may have to do with your career because just the timing of this, like it literally, if, if a child was born at the time of this new moon, um, Leo would um, be in the 10th house. Leo would take up the 10th house, okay? So, um, you know, literally the MC line would be there. So I am feeling a strong thing here for you with old structures and new structures, all right, that are coming into being and communications on these issues, okay, being important at this time for you, Gemini. All right, um, so it looks fortuitous. All right, let me know how it goes. I am going to move on to Cancer now. Cancer, this is taking place in your second house, all right, and you have a lot of fortuitous momentum here with um, Jupiter that's going to be trining um, Saturn later this month, okay, um, all right, for positive transitions with income sources, okay. That said, especially income sources that have to do with um, a high level or need for creativity, even if you're in business, okay, there's there's creativity that's applied to business, no matter what your business is, all right, um, to, to gain forward momentum, to go to the next rung, to, you know, move forward, all right. Creative intelligence is highly valued now, okay. It's one thing that you can't really put into a computer, all right, um, or, or, or dole out to a computer to take care of for you, okay. Um, so I do see this like being a huge thing for you right now. All right. And also, you know, obviously with, um, with Venus in the middle of your sign, which also is a natural ruler for the second house. Okay. I see you having a lot of power here. 
all right, um, and and like an eye for the beautiful and for what can you know be prosperous as well here. Okay, that you're tapping into as well as getting a reflection back. All right, um, for some positive. Um, I don't want to say yes, but some positive yeses can be possible for you right now. So it is it is it is um, a fortuitous time for you to sow new seeds and ask for things that maybe you wouldn't normally ask for. Okay. Um, and that's exactly what we're getting here, all right? Um, here you are popping with the Seven of Cups, the Fool, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, all right? Um, the Knight of Pentacles, oof, and the um, Knight of Cups. Or maybe somebody that has their eye on you or you um, have your eye on somebody here, all right? That is, um, that is very positive for you, okay? And I, I do show, you know, that especially around those of you that are born in the middle decan here have may have somebody significant that's new, male or female, okay? Whatever you're into, enter your life right now, all right? Um, that could be very, very fortuitous to you, okay? Um, you may already know who that person is, okay? I do see that the present situation here is that you may have been a little bit stuck, all right? And in regards to something to do with income or the ways you earn income, all right, that you have debated over or languished over a little while here, all right? Maybe to the point of being in disillusionment, okay, where you get a little bit stuck here saying, which cup do I go for here? between your options that may be in love that may be in income all right um sources here i can see it playing out several different ways here all right um but i see positive energy as well as um clarity of thought here being at your um doorstep here to take advantage of and to stop languishing and i do see that like you are going to go for either rearranging your cups here or changing your cups okay because there is a fool here okay, um, as the reason that this Seven of Cups is, is here, okay, and if you're at the beginning of a project that you have not seen, the full, um, the full, you know, um, result of yet, all right, you may just be at a phase where, I mean, this is, you know, it, it is a long trajectory to start a major new project or a major new thing in your life, new business, whatever it is, okay, um, Keep your head down and keep working. I see that the result here is that you're going to be able to make a positive choice with the lovers showing up here in the upright, all right? Um, what you can do is to continue to act, all right, in a, um, in a Knight of Pentacles-like manner. And if you do so, this creative project or this romantic interest, if it's that, okay, um, will be able to move forward. All right, because of the dedication that you're showing to the project, the interest, whatever it is for you here. Okay, um, let me see something. Um, you are also trining off with, obviously, with um, with aspects in Pisces and in Scorpio here. All right, um, all right. I just I do see that for you guys. All right, and. Yeah, and you know Scorpio, since it does rule your, um, it does rule, it does rule your fifth house of of romance here. Again, there may be something here um, that comes in romance wise as well. Okay, kind of like a stars align, everything's going well. All right, with new things that you've started insofar as income and possibility of new romantic offers, all right? And these may also be attached to creative offers, but the advice from the universe here is to keep plodding along, all right, with your dedication as you have, all right, towards your main goals and um, not give up at this time, all right, because um, these are going to come to fruition for you and you may have a significant choice that you need to make here, all right, um, or a significant, uh, you know, significant partner here that comes in for you in one way or another, all right? Let me know how it goes, Cancer. Definitely check out the special I'm doing on Venus's transit through Cancer with all your placements, and I will see you guys soon. I'm going to move on to Leo. Leo, how are you? It's in your first house, okay? You guys are already the superstars, all right? Happy birthday, too. The sun is in your sign. You're ruling, um, which, you know, which you're ruled by, okay? So it's your time of glory for the entire year here right now. Um, there's also amazing aspects for you guys, although there are some squares with Uranus and, um, 
and Mars and the North Node, which I cover in depth in the special I did on Venus's transit through Cancer. Um, and you may feel those now, okay? Um, for some of you with this new moon and what's on offer that I discussed in the beginning, all right, you may feel some, um, you may feel some um, opposition here from, from, you know, sections of your chart emanating from your partnerships or some resistance or restraint around business partnerships and or um, partners of yours in marriage, okay, and or, um, sorry, Leo, and or major other commitments in your life, whether they're actually doing those or those are restraints that you put on yourself, expectations that you put on yourself that, you, that your mate or your partners actually wouldn't mind you doing or something like that. There is a feeling of restraint around some new beginning that you want now, okay, related to this new moon, all right, with Saturn in opposition to it, all right, um, and or a lot of heavy duties, like you feel like you have a lot to do to get to, this, to, get to the goals you want here, okay? Um, but again, and like I've said for everybody, you have a lot of positive momentum here for the change, though the changes that you want may present some sort of challenge here, okay, um, especially with, yeah, um, especially with, you know, some major access points in your chart, especially if you are, um, you know, there, there's just a lot of change around career and home and partnerships right now, okay, that I go on in, in, in depth. However, there is a large positive momentum from, um, from the top of your chart in the 10th house for change. Some of you may actually be undergoing a huge career, career change and like opening up to new possibilities for your own creative imagination and self. Like, how am I gonna fill up my time? Or how am I gonna do this or that? Some of you may be starting a new business, leaving an old business, um, otherwise like making some major shift um, in your career and or creative projects. Some of you may just be taking a break from work because of a child or due to some sort of um, job loss or change and or transition that's pretty pretty major that may have hit on all your access points like your 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 lover your partnerships everything in home okay maybe go undergoing now okay that said you have a lot of um, fortuitous forward um, help to make these changes okay so um, go back and listen to the intro in regards to that um, where I discussed it, if you have a birthday around now, I see it as wonderful for you guys within a day or two of this new moon, it's going to be a mon monumentous year for you if so, all right? Um, I have the Fool here, okay? Um, and the, the reason for the Fool is the Two of Pentacles, which is leading me to say that you had to make some decisions, which I feel like I already just said, all right? And some sort of balance in your life here, okay? That something needs to be sacrificed to do something else here, all right? There was too much juggling and too much difficulty and um, holding all the balls in the air, so to speak, here, where, um, but there's some leap here of faith that you're going to be making here, Leo, all right, and it's going to be ruminating um, in your mind and maybe beginning around the time of this new moon and for up to two weeks afterwards here, okay? Um, the result is going to be um, a very, very happy place. I'm showing here with the Six of Cups. That's a lot of like brand new nostalgic feelings. It could be an older new soul tie coming back around. It can also just be a lot of happy, happy times around family and home here, okay? Um, that will come from this new beginning and you taking a leap of faith here, all right? Um, the, the thing here that you can um, do to help or hinder this, okay, from the universe here, all right? Um, that I'm seeing for you here, all right, in, is, you know, in regards to, um, there is a four of cups here, all right, so, um, what I'm feeling here is that, um, you, you need to be aware of the other love offers or ace of cups or places of emotional and spiritual fulfillment that are around you that you may not be tapping into here that you may have left to the side or something of this nature may be coming up for you right now, okay? And um, for you, you know, for some of you, this may involve around a father figure. For others of you, this may involve um, other feelings here of, um, and I already brought up parental issues here that may come up, but also being um, emperor of your own dominion, okay? And 
you know, also having the power of, and harnessing the power of, like, the magician here to create your own new dominion, all right? And I'm getting this image here, or this thought that, um, you know, um, I'm just like, it's, it's like there's some divine protection here, okay? Um, all right, and, and, and like some new beginning here, all right? I'm just getting like, it's like high priest, you know, is here, all right? So I feel like you need to, you know, tap into prayer on anything that you are um, languishing on here, but I don't see you languishing. I see you taking a fool's leap towards some new things, all right? And there is a message here that there is, um, you know, that, you know, a higher power of some sort or another is looking over you. And for those of you that are making a transition into a brand new career, it looks like it's fortuitous and you will be able to move up the ranks if you had questions in regards to that. All right. It looks fortuitous. All right. Um, I am going to move on to Virgo now. Virgo. This new moon is in your 12th house if you are a true Virgo rising. Okay. You may have um, a lot of um, connection here with... Um, I don't want to say like, you, you know, you might feel a lot of um, spiritual interconnectedness now, all right? If you're a true Virgo rising, um, you know, or reading a, a general horoscope here, you may have some sort of brand new beginning that starts off somewhat secretively or feels very personal and private in nature, all right? It could be, it could be in anything revolving a fifth house issue, creativity, romance, um, children, anything of this sort. Um, it might be some sort of source of happiness and divine spark, all right? Um, you're also going to have um, Jupiter that's going to be trining off to um, the sun here and other placements in um, in Leo here, all right? And sometimes Jupiter can be known as a guardian, all right? Especially when it makes aspects to the 12th house. So I do feel like you have a lot of divine protection right now for new beginnings, all right, of some sort or another revolving around creative projects, children, you know, happiness, joy, new romance, any of these things, I feel like, um, you know, you have a higher power looking out for you um, right now, all right, at, at least astrology, astrologically speaking, you do, um, so, and you have a lot of positive momentum here, all right, and with Venus passing through your house of networks, all right, and opposing your fifth house, there may be um, some transformative new love that comes about, all right, and a weeding out of old prior um, relationships that's been um, part of a major transition that you've made from the inside out here, I'm feeling for you, Virgo, and you are pulling here with the Two of Cups, okay, so there is some, <laughs> and the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles, And then, oh yeah, okay, you have the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands here, wow. Um, you or somebody else, you may have some sort of like um, major relationship um, head point here for a new beginning here that comes about at around the time of the new moon or within two weeks of the new moon, um, all right? The hangman is on the top of the deck. If you have been in a waiting period here of some sort or another here, um, or had some sort of shake up here, I kind of see it. <laughs> um, there may have been a walk away from some things and, and, and just a lot of restrictions here around your romantic life in one way or another and they may have been self-imposed restrictions, Virgo, with these things being in the 12th house. They may have been self-imposed, self-limiting restrictions of one sort or another here, okay, um, for you, uh, I, okay? Um, but what I'm showing here is a two of cups uh, you know, and the reason for this two of cups is that you or somebody else wants to explore this relationship further here. I see that or there's news incoming from you or someone else. All right. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be a love relationship. Okay. Although it does appear like it could be for a lot of you. Okay. Um, it does not have to be though. This can be a, you know, a sibling relationship, uh, a relationship with your child. This is just a relationship where there's just pure love okay, and respect, all right, and there may be great differences between the two of you with the two of cups, but some sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, 
synastry and interconnectedness here, okay, because you both love and support each other, okay? This could be a good time for friendships, all right? You may be traveling or exploring things with friends or having like amazing conversations with friends, okay? But I do see here that the result is going to be some new opportunities here, all right? And that may be on a work or love front of, of quite some magnitude here, all right, that may come in for you here due to... Um, this new moon and within two weeks of the new moon as well as the work that's gone into this new moon for you okay and what's aligning right now with this two of wands okay appearing here you may have some significant offer that somebody brings you or you bring somebody else here okay um and the advice from the universe here okay is to and again this is a major theme for this venus um transit anyway that i'm going over so make sure you check yours in the specialty in fact i need to film yours um, that'll be up today. I think I have three or four more signs to do and then I'm done. Um, is the four of pentacles. There's either something that you're holding on to here or somebody that's still holding on to you that you care about significantly. Okay. For some of you, all right. Um, if this is somebody that's positive, okay. There is a theme here generally of letting go of the things you need to, all right, with Venus's transit and the major aspects that are happening so that you can forward new beginnings for all the zodiac signs that have gone over in accordance with their charts. I see it here for you as well. However, in regards to this, there may be somebody who is holding on to you that comes around to make you an offer of one sort or another, all right? You may have um, a place for this person in your heart. And again, I feel like there is something here... Um, you know, the, the, the message here is to, um, is to not be afraid to take action, passionate action or action on a project that you really, really want and hold, hold tight to your, um, heart here. All right. Um, as long as you follow your intuition and your inner guidance on this new beginning, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna wind up ahead here. Okay, it looks gorgeous, Virgo, all right? Um, for those of you that are already with somebody, you know, again, you could just be spearheading a new project with a significant other or a significant partner of some sort here, okay? Or again, having a lot of fun with your friends and, uh, you know, also having something very special going on here with uh, a time of great joy, all right? And some of it may not all be known. It's like one of those things that like you can't describe or something to this sort, okay? And you're popping here with a four of wands. All right, I gotta move on. Got to move on, Burke. I love you guys. All right, I'm going to move on to um, to Libra now. Libra, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Um, all right, um, if you are a true Libra rising, okay, um, this um, falls in your 11th house of networks where there can be um, brand new beginnings here, all right, and in networks, all right, and, you know, the 11th house was also associated with fortune, a lot of good fortune, all right, and good luck, okay, uh, and it's particularly from the divine, all right, it's kind of known in Greek Hellenistic astrology as the house of good spirit, okay, kind of where divine gifts are bestowed upon you, okay, um, of some sort or another, and I see new beginnings for those for you, Libra, around this time, okay, um, you will be squaring off with other cardinal signs, including where Venus is, however, you know, Venus and square to your sign is not always, you know, is not always bad, okay, um, in any way, you know, um, it could represent a Venusian like figure entering your life. All right. And, and coming into being here on one way or another, or you really shining here. All right. On an exterior level, especially since Venus, you know, rules your sign. Okay. Um, and I do see here that somebody significant, okay. of Venusian quality may, may come in or out of your life here. All right. Um, around the time of this new moon or or you just you know you may have some fortuitous meetings here um uh let's see let's pull a spread for you shall we um i am going to be filming your special for venus's transit through um cancer right which also goes over the conjunction all right um with mars and uranus all right so and the true node all right so there's going to be some radical changes here um for a lot of people in the zodiac um wheel house in general all right, um, definitely check into that series and definitely make sure you um, watch your sun, moon, and rising in that series or any significant um, points besides your rising that are having major, major planetary transitions right now. Um, you are showing up here with two Sag cards, you know, um, a minor arcana here. All right, which is the wounded warrior as well as um, the reason for this wounded warrior here, I get... Um, 
temperance, all right, or the, you know, I'm getting the major card, the major card here for Sag. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius, all right, or there may be some, um, a lot of waiting here on something that's very important to you here, all right, with networks, okay, and again, this will also oppose your fifth house since it's in your 11th house, okay, so there could have been some restrictions regarding romance, children, or family here, all right, that are set off for a new beginning here. Or a time of new beginning and okay as well all right um, that were delayed in some form or another due to your networks take it as it resonates okay um, and I see a lot of patience here however like you may feel like your walls are going up uh, against something here all right um, in in losing patience here in one way or another here <laughs> um, and, but I do see like the, re the end result is you're going to be moving towards calmer waters here Okay, um, with this new beginning and over the course of the, uh, you will see some stabilization here with the six of swords showing up here as the result here. You will, your patience will pay off here, Libra is what I'm going to say. Um, additionally, I see, um, you have the lovers here. All right. Somebody else just pop with the lovers. I feel like it was Gemini if you're dealing with a Gemini, um, or another, yeah. Um, you're popping here with the lovers, could be a Gemini involved, or, you know, especially I have Gemini and Sag here, all right, those are seven, seven signs, okay, um, and for you, in particular, um, you know, there could be themes around, um, travel and communications, or explorations, or higher philosophical for a minute there, Libra. There may be a significant choice that you need to make to drop your guard around somebody that you want, especially if it's a love relationship or significant choice, all right? And to put your walls up in other places, okay? Or your patience just feels worn thin here about making a new mix or alchemy, all right, of some sort or another, and this could have to do with your networks. There could be people that are pissing you off in your networks, all right? Take it as it resonates. It could be work networks, home networks, um, you know, friends of any kind. There could have been interference here of some sort or another, all right, um, with romance or some other issue here that's playing off for you, okay, um, in the 11th house, okay, that's set for new beginnings, all right? Um, definitely listen to the intro, but what I see here is you moving to calmer waters, all right? So I feel like if you felt any anxiety here in this wounded warrior position and a loss of patience here, okay, in regards to your networks, all right, that you will be moving to calmer waters, okay, and, you know, that may, what you can do here to help is, is to make the proper choices that you need for your ultimate goals here, because with Gemini showing up here, it's indicative of a choice, could be a choice in love, could be a choice to not let people in your networks that are going to mess with your life in one way or another, take it as it resonates, okay, that's just what I'm getting, um, because, the result, if you do, is like five of wands. Five of wands can be good, like you're fighting for something you really want, okay? But you need to also block out distractions from what you don't want, okay? And block out catty behavior from others or yourself here with this five of wands here. here. And I do see that if you make a proper decision, you may face a little bit of competition, okay? But you can decide what to let in and out based on your major life and soul goals of what you want. Okay, here, Libra. Um, all right, and I see that once you do that, you, you, you're able to restabilize and move to calmer waters because you're moving from a heart space of what you want rather than the pressure from your networks, if you have any, okay? So there's new beginnings there, okay? Seated, seated and started with you as a front runner there, okay, in those. All right, Libra, let me know how it goes, okay? Definitely make sure I'll be filming you, Virgo. Taurus and Scorpio today for the Venus transit, okay, which is going to be huge for you guys, all right, so definitely check into it, um, all right, and I will see you later, Libra, bye. Hey, you know, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well, all right, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, trine to your sun, moon, or rising, whatever you're in here, crosswatch, listening to, here for now. Um, this is going to be taking place in your 10th house of career. All right, there's um, new beginnings on the career front, okay, here for you that are on offer right now, all right? They may have to do with another feminine figure, especially if you're attached to a Leo in any way or have Leo in your chart. This will be 
definitely a, a hell of a play out here over the course of this uh, next month during Leo season for you, Scorpio, especially if you have Leo placements yourself, okay? Um, especially if they're on major access points of the seventh house, the fourth house, the 10th house, or, you know, your first house, because I don't know what you're in here listening for. Um, but in general, um, this will uh, be a new beginning on the career front, okay? Something that um, may be somewhat public or be set for public announcement here, all right? Could be a retirement, could be um, a change in your partnerships, could be, you know, um, a change here. But with the sun and moon meeting up here, I do see some um, synergy here, all right, for transformations in new partnerships, okay, um, here for you, okay. There may be a little bit of opposition here that you're feeling here, all right, with um, from your partnerships, all right, and some radical change that's happening in the lives of your partner, okay. But you are um, with Uranus and Mars, okay. Um, meeting up in your seventh house, okay? You could feel a lot of um, drive and determination from you or your partner to make some massive shifts and changes here to your partnerships, okay? This can um, greatly affect your marriages, okay? And or any other significant business partnerships here, okay? Um, but the time of change is, is here, all right? And there are positive Pluto aspects, okay? Your modern ruler and and Mars being in your opposite sign here, I feel like you have a hand in the changes that will come about. Okay, you have a say in the changes that will come about with Mars, your um, Hellenistic ruler, appearing in your seventh house here. Okay, um, and you yourself may feel like you're radically transforming or want to radically transform your um, major commitments right now and work life here. Okay, because you are popping here um, with the. Uh, yeah, you, you guys are popping here with the Pope or the High Priest here, okay? Um, and I feel like Leo also did, so it's funny. Um, if you're dealing with a Leo or you have significant Leo placements, okay, yourself, um, I see that the present scenario here that's up for a new beginning is something to do with a walk away from things, okay? From things of the past. You're showing up here with the Eight of Cups, all right? And it's funny because it's like the sun and the moon, all right, are shown here split in half. Okay, um, I think there's some things that you're walking away from. Some of you may be deciding to walk back to other things, all right, that you previously gave up on here, okay? Um, I see that the reason for the walk away on the Eight of Cups is due to a fool's leap that you want to make or somebody else wants to make, okay? Aries and Aquarius energy, they're indicated, okay? Um, the end result here I have is a Seven of Swords, all right? And I will pull one clarifier on that because I don't want to misadvise you, okay? Um, for those of you that are walking away and making a fool's leap of any kind, especially if it has to do with work or significant relationships of any kind or contracts, make sure you are totally above board with the people that you are responsible to in regards to those things, okay? Um, because um, what I'm showing here with the Seven of Swords as an outcome, this can be very maverick-like, okay, very stealth-like in, in nature, however, and, and Scorpio can be stealth-like in nature. I mean, you're the natural detective of, of the Zodiac and, you, you know, you're also private. Um, so, but what I show here as, you know, what you can do to help or hinder this of what's going on, and, and I, I can't, you know, this is just, this is non-clarifier kind of um, new moon reading here is that um, what you can do to help or hurt it, okay, is there's a five of swords appearing here, which again shows me that if there's any like stealing, lying, cheating, manipulation, or um, abuse of any kind, all right, um, on, your, on the part of yourself or others, you need to walk away from that and make sure you keep everything above board and whatever changes and leaps you're making here, okay, um, because I do have I do have um, the high priest, all right, showing up here, all right, indicated that there's like God or a divine power here looking over what's going on here right now, okay? So, and this may come from somebody else. So the, my thing is, is just do everything above board. Make sure you're doing everything above board. And for some of you, you may be walking away from, from this kind of prior, um, things here in the past or whatever, closing cycles down of your of, of, of your own or others here that may have involved these things in the past here, okay? Um, I see it as good, all right? I, and this could be walking away from old emotional sicknesses of one kind or another or just, you know, old emotional pain here, 
letting go and leaping forward here. Okay, and um, make sure I'll be filming you today for Venus's transit through Cancer. Okay, make sure you check it out. Um, it will be a big one. That's all I have for you. It looks pretty powerful and, um, you know, it looks pretty good as long as you, you know, you just make sure you stay above board there and you'll be absolutely fine. Scorpio. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to move on to Sagittarius now. Sagittarius, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. This is in your ninth house, okay? And you are the natural ruler of the ninth house. That is your natural home base, okay? Complete, so to speak. So you will have new beginnings in regards to um, in regards to travel and exploration and um, you know possibly schooling, especially secondary or higher level learning. All right. So a philosophy, okay, you could have new beginnings in your own ways and methods of thought around um, religion, spirituality, philosophy right now, okay, that are having a creative new beginning and rebirth here that feels rather fresh, transformative, and really, really good, all right? And this will also be trining off here within the month of August to Jupiter, your ruling planet, okay, <laughs> which is in um, Aries as well as the wounded healer. So something about this new beginning for you, I feel is going to be um, very fresh and very invigorating to you, all right, on an internal and external level here, okay? Um, so I see that as, as, as a gorgeous new moon, all right? Take um, advantage of it, all right? Um, Fully, I see the ability here for long-term prospects insofar as um, a major new, you know, deep sexual relationship and matters of wealth and accumulation of wealth and legacy here, all right, that are quite positive for you, Sagittarius. Um, I just did yours last night. Yours was the longest one I did because you had a crazy reading and exactly what I'm showing here. Uh, you're showing here, this is interesting, Devil, the Ten of Pentacles. The moon. Ooh. Justice. The high priest. All right. Um, I feel like the high priest and the emperor showed their face um, in in uh, in Scorpio and in Leo. Okay. Um, I'm showing here for you, um, I'm showing here for you, Sagittarius, that um, you are like turning your back, you may be turning your back, okay, on um, contracts, there may be major transitions with contracts and or your own devil-like behavior or obsessions here, okay, past, present, or future, okay, they may involve family, okay, especially, um, you know, if, um, you know, you feel like, you know, you haven't been able to move forward with family, okay, and the way you've wanted to, Sagittarius, okay, all right, and, and, and this may have to do with the, especially for you guys that have been involved in some sort of family business, this has popped up for several months for you, especially like, you know, several months ago, it was all over your reads, okay, but I see a lot of material gain here, and for some of you, you may just be like, popping off at work like on fire you have you are on fire in your career all right and you're really able to accumulate a lot of family wealth right now um for some of you i see it playing out that way for others of you i see you letting go of some contracts and prior um bondage that you felt in family environments okay um some of you may be letting go of that okay and um, the end result is that this may feel very emotional here obviously with the moon showing up here all right um, but I see this as very, um, fortuitous. All right. And you need it. I, I have here, what, what can you do, um, to help or hinder this phase? And you do need to stand up for yourself where you need to and, and walk away where you need to as well and bring yourself your own sense of justice. Okay. Justice is showing up here. All right. Also tied to Libra. Okay. Um, also tied to, you know, Venus since it rules um, Libra, okay, and the transit here, all right, the result that if you do that, okay, and you balance the scales in your own life as well as with others, and you may need to speak up somewhat on emotions here of one sort or another or discern your emotions from your contracts to free yourself from any bondage here, 
all right, um, for a new beginning so that you can have um, emotional healing as well as tap into your intuition, okay, that is promised here by a good placement of the moon, all right, and we have a new moon, okay, a new beginning emotionally, intuitively here is on offer for you in these areas is that you will have divine protection here, all right, because I have, I have um, the high priest here. All right, and I, I just, there's something here involving justice and the high priest here, all right? Justice is blind, okay? So um, there's just some issues here, all right? Um, and, and if you see somebody unfairly treated here, you need to, to make sure you step up to speak on that and protect others that cannot protect themselves. Okay, you have a sense of um, divine order and backing here if you do that, as well as favor here. We'll take it as it resonates, okay, because I got the freaking devil and I got the high priest on the other end. Angel or the devil? The angel or the devil? Bondage or freedom? Faith or fear? Here, okay? And for some of you, and it just keeps popping up, this has to do with family, it may have to do with the family business, may have to do with legacy, there's just some you know, shit that you've gone through here, Sagittarius. And for some of you, it's just massive accumulation and really stepping into your own space here and your career here that may really be blowing up that you may have some new beginnings with, okay? I've covered these in your readings for the past few months and definitely check out the new one I posted yesterday, okay, where I discuss this at length. Um, you know, and I guess, you know, for some of you, it's just saying like, that are having like an extreme high point here, okay, of career or have some new, you know, banging thing going on here, all right, with money. Some of you could, all right, a lot of material profit right now. There is, you know, the advice is make sure you balance the scales and, and stay just because if you don't, you know, God's watching, okay. Um, I see it playing out very well for you. I see like it's just a message to continue to tap into remember the justice card and remember, um, the high priest and you'll be fine okay all right sag um let me know how it goes i will um see you guys later all right um i am going to move on to capricorn capricorn this falls in your um eighth house okay um there are some new beginnings here all right around legacy and family um wealth accumulation here all right there may be issues surrounding a mother figure at this time and new beginnings okay and there may be you may be facing your own dark shadows in regards to your view of yourself as a mother other mothers or other feminine energies around you at this time okay are undergoing a transformation okay um and are set off for a new beginning here all right which can be very creative feeling and fortuitous here okay all right but there are issues here with this series opposing pluto having to do with fairness here that you're being called to address here, all right, with this new beginning, all right? You may also be like restructuring things to do with your taxes here at this time and other matters, all right, that have, um, and for some reason there may be a spotlight on legacy, inheritance, and tax matters right now for you of one kind or another, okay? Um, For those of you that are going to be grandparents, you know, you may have new grandchildren that are entering your world right now, okay? For some of you, it could be like your family is getting bigger, okay? For others of you that do not, you, your family may be getting bigger because you may want to bring somebody else new into your family if you've started a significant new relationship that you want to take from a fifth house to an eighth house relationship here, okay? Um, that's somewhat serious, okay? There could be new beginnings or someone new entering your space here that is representative of something that is, um, that, you know, plays off for you in that way, okay? Especially with um, Venus transiting your opposite sign of cancer that can occur, that you have a new partner enter that you, um, of some significance, okay? That you want to, that you feel like, oh God, if I go forward with that one, I know where it's gonna go. Like, it's gonna go all the way and that's the feeling you get, okay? Um, and there's a sense of timing here, okay? And I have the Wheel of Fortune popping with the tower here, all right? And there may be um, independence or, or breaking free here that you need to do to um, get everything you want here, Capricorn, all right? Um, there's a sense of divine timing in the Wheel of Fortune and a karma here involved, okay? As long as 
you are a Capricorns are one of the most trustworthy, workworthy signs I know. Okay, so for those of you that are in a positive place, you know it. Okay, for those of you that have experienced the negative aspects of Pluto, all right, and haven't used it to bring forth positive transformation on the inside out yet, or have faced some of your own dark side here, okay, during the Pluto transit, it's like the wheel of fortune is here, okay. Um, that is like a karmic wheel, okay? Um, I, I show that the wheel of fortune is here because of a tower. You may have had a, a, a serious structure that you changed, okay, voluntarily because you needed to free yourself from darker Plutonian things, or that's upon you now, okay, with the karmic wheel, all right, showing up here, all right? So there may be some towers here involved in the next two weeks, all right? I already go over that in um, the readings I do for the Venus transit because it's so powerful with Uranus and um, Mars squaring off with Saturn, all right, in the middle of the transit around the first um, and, and really leading into a crescendo up to the 11th, all right, it's just gonna be very powerful. Um, I have that the end result here, all right, and, and part of, the, of embracing a tower is to let structures die that were built on sand let them die. The things that are not working out, you let them die, okay? Um, you don't languish here in a burning tower. Um, and there is a timing thing here, all right, at play. And if you do that, you know, um, you are promised a lot of independence and abundance here with the Nine of Pentacles appearing here. Others of you may have had like a breakup with a Virgo, all right? There's Virgo energy represented here. It does not have to be. There's also Scorpio represented here with the tower. Okay, um, the thing you can do to help or hinder this is to really take this blindfold off, okay, and including, you know, about yourself here, all right, and don't languish too long about important decisions that you, that, you know, sit at the crossroads too long, because if you do, um, the end result could be a five of pentacles, all right, that's a poverty or lack mindset, abandonment, okay, don't abandon other people either. All right, um, yet yeah, in this break that you need to make, but I do see a break towards independence here that you want here and a timing issue here about your independence. All right, um, and you know, part of that maybe don't sit at a crossroads too long here, okay? Um, uh, you know, where, whereas you know, you put yourself in a hole here with this five of pentacles. All right, take it as it resonates, Capricorn. I see this as all good so long as you recognize the timing and the purpose of karma and these things tied to Pluto here, because I see fixed signs being applicable to this sign of karma as well as karma, all right? Divine timing here and the tower here, okay? Let me know how it goes, Capricorn. Um, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on to Aquarius now. Aquarius, how are you? This falls in your seventh house. Brand new beginnings here are on offer in major partnerships, business partnerships, okay, and or um, relationships, which could wind up in marriage here, okay, um, are coming to the fore. You have a lot of um, insight right now, all right, and there may be a meeting, a divine meeting between a masculine and feminine here figure here. Um, for others of you, you may have your parents on your mind, especially your mother in one sense or another here around this time, okay? Um, you may feel a lot of restrictions if you are a true um, Aquarius rising. You may feel a lot of restrictions, especially if you're born in the third decan, okay? Though your ruling planet is in the, uh, is your, ruling, your Hellenistic ruler is in the um, latter decan, okay? About 23, 24 degrees of Aquarius, okay? Um, it's been a hard road since um, Saturn entered your sign, okay? You deal with Saturn more better than anybody else, but you've just had a lot of shit to take care of here in regards to duties and responsibilities. You're almost at the end of this track, okay? Um, and can create some major change. That said, you may be restricting yourself unnecessarily or others may be restricting you in regards to major partnerships here of one kind or another here, okay? Um, these things are going to be freed up, okay, especially in regards to your home and your career. These things, major change, are playing out here, okay, um, and definitely check into the special I did on Venus's transit um, through Cancer since it touches on these transits which rule your fourth house of home here, okay, with Taurus there, you, you know. You may have had a lot of change within the home, all right, since 2018, a lot of upsets and transitions here, That, um, but there is a future path, okay, but it is marked with some major change here.
that could occur, okay, and the timing on that change, okay, and it may occur within the month of July and August here, all right, um, you are showing here with a, um, a page of wands, all right, as this situation that's ripe for a new beginning here, okay, I do see exploration being ripe for a new beginning here as it pertains to new beginnings on a partnership front, whether they be romantic or, um, platonic or business related here, okay? There is a possibility of new beginnings, all right, as well as some reconciliations and celebrations here with the Three of Cups here, okay? Um, appearing that you either want a reconciliation or somebody else wants a reconciliation with you, okay? But there's an exploratory matter here and then you're showing up here with the Death card, all right? Scorpionic energy, okay? If you are a true Aquarius rising, then Scorpio rules your 10th house. So again, like I said, major changes in, part, in, in the major access points in your chart, if you're true Aquarius. They're like, you are like being four wands is bottom and the lovers is at the top. You may have like a major decision to make about a marriage or a relationship here, okay? Um, and a possible death rebirth cycle here, okay? That somehow plays off over the course of this stead it may feel very, very heavy, okay? But it's gonna be very, very good, all right? Um, there may be like a rebirth here in regards to a major relationship, okay? And it may touch on, you know, your first house of self, okay? Your house of career, your house of home, your house of partnerships, okay? Including marriage and or significant living relationships have all been shook up and changed over the course of Uranus transiting through your sign, okay, which began around 2018, 2019, okay? Um, this is a major transition for you, okay? It just affects your entire chart um, and all your major access points, okay? Um, but it is like midway in this cycle where like a huge leap forward towards the future, especially with your ruling, modern ruling planet in the middle of it there, all right? And there is something here about changing the way you communicate, all right? And healing communications that are could be on offer here with Chiron and Jupiter, all right? Being in your third house of communications and networks here, okay? There can be a lot of healing here, all right? Um, that can be set off and some healing communications that you can have around the time of this new moon and within two weeks of it, okay? And the... Um, and you may need to because of the transformations that are occurring with you. May, I mean, to have the death card here, that's pretty powerful, all right? That is, you know, um, you know, you may, what you can do to help or hurt this, okay? This is a five of pentacles. This is a poverty, lack mindset, or leaving somebody else out in the cold, or feeling left out in the cold, or abandoned, or alone, lonely, yourself, okay? This can especially be powerful when you're going through a scorpionic transition, a death and rebirth on major access zones of your life here okay and the message from the universe of what you can do to help or hinder this process that you're undergoing and the changes that you want okay is to communicate eight of wands and to move keep moving and communicate okay um you may need to reach out to other support systems if you're having problems with the support systems that you have okay to make the changes you want at this time i see it as beautiful though aquarius all right let me know how it goes i'm going to move on to pisces now Pisces, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is set for a new beginning in your house of service, sixth house, natural ruler of Virgo, or natural house placement for Virgo, okay? Um, if you are a Pis true Pisces rising and you have placements in Leo, okay, um, you may have an extremely abundant new beginning around um around the sixth house of service if you are in a service oriented industry especially although those you know you may have a lot of positive um vibes for health and new beginnings to take hold of new habits or lifestyle patterns that you want to embrace okay that are going to affect your physical emotional mental or spiritual health here all right and you're popping out with the sun and bring you a lot of joy all right natural ruler for um for Leo here, all right, and the sun is moving through your sixth house, all right, and you're gonna you're gonna be able to take new beginnings. So if there are new exercise habits or anything that you've been waiting around with, all right, hangman's popping out, 
all right, or waiting to take a leap forward with here. You can begin them, all right, with, with particular flair and power here right now, okay? And for those of you that are in any service-related industries, you may have some new beginnings and a lot of creative creativity around those new beginnings, all right? You may be changing patterns of the way you do things or discussing patterns of well, the way you do things in regards to children with your significant other right now or having new beginnings in regards to parenting of some sort or another here. All right, and how you um, are of service to even your own children or for those you caretake for, if you caretake for a parent here or anyone else of significance here that are also set off for some new beginnings, all right, and a lot of creative um, ingenuity here that can be applied to um, reach your goals here, okay? Um, Pisces, I see it as very fortuitous, all right? Um, furthermore, this will be trining off with um, aspects you have in Aries, okay, related to your income and um, aspects that you have in um, Sagittarius here related to your 10th house of career. So there's something about um, the synergy here, okay, between these with, between these trines that can be very, very helpful to you here, okay. That said, you may have some challenges here from other people in regards to these new beginnings. Okay, this is just a general major theme that's going on here at this time. I don't see them stopping you, okay, because again, changes in the air so strongly here right now that anybody that's moving from a heart or soul space on changes that they need or want at this time is going to be favored, all right? Um, especially if they do so with a place of honesty, you know, justice, fairness, okay, and the major arcana of what? the high priest and the um, empress and, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to say the empress as well as the emperor because Mars and Venus are indicated with these major transitions that are happening, okay? Um, as well as, um, sorry, as well as Libra's card as to justice, okay? So as long as we act from a positive place and positive upright positions insofar as act, you know, emperor and empress, okay? you know, and what those cards mean, all right, as well as, um, as well as what they mean in the reverse, and avoid those, all right, as well as, um, as well as fully embrace, you know, the major arcana card associated with Libra, okay, associated with Cancer, okay, and move, you know, from a positive place in regards to those, as well as the high priest, all right, as long as we're tapped in here for change on a soul and heart level that is positive for you, okay, as well as honest, you know, um, I see major positive things that can come for all the zodiac signs. Just will play out a little differently here for all of you, okay? What I see here is like, you know, you're popping with um, the Five of Pentacles, all right, Temperance, and the Ace of Swords. There's something here, okay. Um, that is calling for you to um, let go, okay, and or, you know, I feel like um, there are feelings and they may be tied to family because we end and begin, we begin with the Five of Pentacles and we end with the Ten of Pentacles. There may be issues that you're closing down with your family or issues of old abandonment issues um, and or feelings of lack or just not being... Um, you know, treated fairly in one sense or another, all right, um, related to the past here, all right, which you are, the you know, feeling, and part of the reason that you're feeling them right now is because temperance is here asking you to mix up a new ace of cups in your own life, okay, a new, um, there is a new offer of an ace of cups around you, okay, that you are tapping into on a soul level here, okay, all right, these truths that you're going through right now and tapping into um, the alchemy of an ace of cups all right and everything that the temperance card okay pertains to all right turning water into wine all right and 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 tapping into some inward healing here all right as well as divine timing and protection here all right um, there are some you know what you will find okay, are some deep inner truths here, Ace of Swords, and be able to speak on them as well, all right, um, and what you can do to help or hurt this, okay, is to let old cycles die and step into this new phase, okay, and part of this may have to do with a lot of success in career, all right, really going up a wrong here, 
all right, and, and may have to do with commerce as well as the web and some sort of, whether you sell your products online or whatever you do here, there could be issues with commerce and the web here, all right, that are related to your business and which can be very, very prosperous, all right, and very, very healing on an inward level as well as a financial level. Because what I show here, if you do these things and embrace this matter, all right, is that you will wind up in this Ten of Pentacles. Need I say more, Pisces? Go for it. Um, let me know how it goes, Pisces. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me today. Um, definitely check out the series I'm doing on Venus, which will take us through the middle of August and is well over an hour for each one of you guys, all right? And goes over... Um, you know, some serious house stuff that can come up for you guys during this massive transition. All right. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in there. Have a wonderful new moon. Hi guys. I um, also, you know, wanted to mention as a major theme of this new moon that there could be um, miracle conceptions and miracle births at this time. Like if you thought you were infertile, you know, all of a sudden you could have an unplanned pregnancy. If you thought you um, could not conceive, you may use science to conceive. Um, if you thought that um, there just could be miracle, um, unexpected births and pregnancies at this time. Okay, so um, for those of you not looking to conceive, definitely be careful. Okay, um, I am going to um, complete my special now, all right? Um, I have four more signs to do. I will be doing Virgo and Libra first, and I'm saving um, Taurus and Scorpio due to the opposition and Uranus and Mars for last. So hopefully I get all four done today, but I will at least get two done and posted today, all right? And um, the new moon special is loading now, all right? Have a great day. I wanted to add to that intro, and it will only apply to some of you, um, a very small portion of you. Um, that with that Isis, um, series opposed Pluto blend, there may be a time of healing around parental relationships in which you haven't talked to a parent in a while. Okay. There may also be, um, for a very small portion of you, literally, um, with the, um, obviously with modern day science. Okay. That, um, there literally may be, um, conception issues um, in regards to bringing a child into the world, okay, um, that are, you know, important right now, you know, on a, a woman's front, but in regards to like a small port, I mean, I literally see this as a possibility right now. There are like, let's say you lost your husband and you have, you know, you guys went through some sort of, you know, um, fertility treatment long ago or something like this and you have zygotes or something like this in a, in a bank I literally can see that you know for for some of you you may be conceiving and or considering conceiving a child with a lost or widowed spouse whether that's via surrogate or whether that's via and you know artificial insemination or something of this sort these things can come up right now all right um in regards to these matters okay um that said um, in general will play out exactly how I said to you, okay? But um, with the power and backing of Ceres and Isis, there literally could be um, issues like this um, on, on the front right now, okay? And or like conception that would otherwise be impossible can be possible, okay? So for those of you that have been experienced any kind of fertility issues or things of this sort, um, this new moon is a very auspicious um, time to look at um, alternative ways to conceive. Okay? Enjoy it. Those of you not looking to conceive, be especially careful right now because you could conceive very easily. All right? Enjoy the new moon.